what's going on you guys this is madam 81 and i'm coming back to you again this is from boss of and the boss of staff and it says paper or plastic atlanta area teenager caught scamming kroger out of a million dollars in two weeks ouch it says if you live in atlanta or visited here enough you know there is big scam energy in this city Creative con artists have found a litany of loopholes and they have no consciences about using these cracks to stack racks on racks on racks. Enter Trey Brown. Trey is a 19 year old who was working at Kroger in Gwyneth County until he was arrested for theft, for theft by taking specifically Trey is charged with scamming $980,000 in just two weeks, according to Fox 5 Atlanta. Peep the game, okay? Trey figured out how to charge back returns to a credit card by creating fake transactions through the cashier system. Like most scams, it seems cool at first until the greed kicks in. Gwyneth Corporal Collins Quinn explains. In the statement it says the first one he did was in the range of $10. As he continued to get away with it, the prices continued to go up until he made a return of over $87,000 that returned to a credit card, Flint said. Over the course of 14 days, Trey charged back returns for 40 items that ranged anywhere from $75 to $85,000. 40 and 14 might be both the greediest and the dumbest thing we've ever heard of. It's a Kroger, sir, a grocery store. <laughs> Well, they definitely write about that, honey. How much money in returns do you think goes through there on any given day? It's not a, <laughs> it's not Bloomingdale's. The report states another employee noticed the strange transactions and alerted, alerted the police during the investigation. They found that Trey had bought clothes, shoes, guns, and two cars. One of those cars was totaled in an accident. A large sum of money was returned upon his arrest. Ooh, ooh, sheesh. Young man, we're in full support of those of us who use our ambition to better our station in life, but this ain't it, bro. <laughs> So what do y'all think about that? Um, I mean, man, two weeks, almost a million dollars. That's tough, man. Like Kroger, what's what's really going on, Kroger? Like what? <laughs> what happened? Like I thought there was fail safes put in place to, you know, combat against stuff like that. But obviously, you know, any system that can be made can be broken. So tell me what y'all think down in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to, you know, just drop your opinion up in there. You know, we're going to get the discussion going on. But until then, you guys, I'll talk to you later.